as soon as I went to secondary school, I went to a very catholic little school. Was, and I went there very recently realising that was the last time I was really happy. And because I said I always wanted responsibility in my life. And I went back there and I realised that was the place to be. La, la, la. And I left that and went to this... My parents should have pushed me and they let me go my own way, really. I was taken to this Catholic school, which was an oldish building, and, and everybody looked very studious and dickheads, you know. And I was taken to this brand new school in called Sedgill in somewhere in Bellingham or somewhere like that. And I saw the building, I thought, that'll do. God knows what the school was like. And it was the kind of school where you aspired to knock a teacher out of a window, that one. It was really lovely, or to get someone pregnant. I managed neither. And um, I, I, I met Alan Lancaster there, I think, within the first year. There was Alan Lancaster and Alan Key. Alan Key's brother was in a band called The Diggeroos, I think, and Ralph Harris's first band. <laughs> and um, I'd gotten this amplifier off my Uncle Louie, and we were all in this... The, the, I picked up the guitar early and left it because it was this bloke had shut me down and I was getting nowhere. And uh, I somehow ended up playing trumpet in the school orchestra with Alan Lancaster and Alan Key. And got to know Alan Lancaster very well and I got to know his family very, very well. I sub subsequently realised last year when we were in Australia, I loved his mum and dad. They were so good to me. They were such lovely people. Um... We were there one day. I will get to the point eventually. We were there one day in this place in Peckham and I'd come in and saw his dad. Uh, hello, Rolson. They were real, like, you know, a bit more rougher than I was. Fantastic. And I got in, I was sitting there one day. Hello, Mrs. Langston. Mrs. Langston's lovely. And all of a sudden, Aki, as she called him, Harry, who was this, you know, lovely man, little fucking. It was almost Henry Cooper. And uh, he'd looked at the TV. He said, here, mate. He said, look, it sounds like Ross, which was me. And she came out and she looked at it and listened to it and went, nah, he's one of us now, aren't you, Ross? Oh, I was so taken. It was my... However, I wish I could speak properly now. But um, I got to know all those people. They were so good, so lovely to me. And we started rehearsing in Alan Key's place because of his brother. And his brother sat us down and said, well, one of you's got to sing. Lancaster went like that, and so did Alan Key, he was, more, he was shiner, so I, Michael Rowe, the boat, I became the singer. <laughs> it was that much of an audition, and uh, a few weeks later, this girl moves in next door. We're, we're 11, 12 years old, if that. And he's with this girl for a while, which is fine, they'd come up and girlfriends practised, and all of a sudden he came to us, he said, I'm leaving the band. Well, group then, they weren't bands, Rory Gallagher changed it to band. He said, what do you mean fucking leaving? He said, well, I'm going to marry Pango Costa. What? He did. He left and he married her and never saw him again. Lovely man. And so that it was left to me and Anna Lancaster. And I spent a lot of that, those few years with me and Anna Lancaster were just together all the time. And we've had some great chats recently. He said to me the other night something. I said, oh, what? A, there was this kid he kept fighting for some reason. Well, actually, because he'd looked at me, <laughs> looked at me a bit funny. Who are you fucking screwing? It's one, you know, hey, oh, so this fight went on for a week, one one holiday, and I'd said that to him. He said, "Well, I wasn't really like that." I said, "Yes, you were." I said, "Yes." He said, "Well, I never actually picked on anybody." I said, "No, you never did. I never ever saw him pick on anybody or bully anybody. But if anybody did it to somebody else or someone went for him, oh, I, I respect him for that and admire him for that. He has this." You weren't going to touch him. There's no fucking way. Good enough. <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, we're in Lancaster. 